CTE Pro 1 Truth Series video 12. We're going to take a look at the 45 using an outside alignment and an inside alignment. Let's take a look at our cue ball positioning for today's uh, two shots. I'm just taking my tool from my two and a half one table here, 12 and a half inches long, so out from this diamond, from the nose of the cushion, to this diamond and diamond intersection is our placement for this cue ball, 12 and a half inches out. Our object ball uh, is going to have a couple of placements that are very close together in relation to this diamond. So I'm just going to put my tool here, and for our outside alignment, the object ball is placed one quarter of a diamond straight out, one cube of chalk off the rail. I'm going to move the object ball further to the right so that it is now one-third of a diamond away from this marker and one cube of chalk off the rail. So that's for our inside. So we have a couple of right cuts and this uh, uh, exaggerated cue ball object ball is set up as a, right, a slight right cut to this pocket. So um, our visuals that for this 45 would be right cue ball edge to left object ball aim point A adjusted by 1 16th of an inch toward the core. This next line is hugely important to 45s because it gives you that second line that's on the cue ball to the object ball. So it's inside cue ball quarter to outer object ball edge, but adjusted by 1 16th of an inch inward. The sight line from parallax is center cue ball to SP45, located at 1 half of an inch out in space, directly from the location of where the SP30 would be. For our outside alignment, beginning with Pro 1, you know the routine by now. It's an outside alignment because when I take a look at this sight line from my 45 degree perception, this object ball has a thin relation to the pocket. If I were to shoot down that sight line, it would catch the facing. It's more around the facing. It might even leak into the pocket. So this, this uh, thin cue ball object ball relation to this right angle requires an outside pivot. So in Pro 1, I'm going to use this left visual sweep. I'm going to step the outside of the cue ball. So in other words, what I'm doing is taking the sight line and turning the sight line from right, I'm sorry, from left to right because we need to thicken this thin relationship. So, I'm at parallax. I'm going to step the cue ball here, stepping the outside of the cue ball in relation to the sight line so that it's turned from left to right. I'm at parallax position. Here comes my left outside sweep. So, I'm at my favorite conventional alignment, which is slightly to the right of my nose, just ever so slightly. For basic CTE. I'm going to execute a left to right outside pivot. I'll be at parallax here. I'll be at parallax in full stance. I'm going to step the cue ball in full stance. So I'm going to go down on the sight line. That sight line is a half inch to the left of where SP30 would be. So there's the perfect 45 degree perception there. I'm going to guide down by way of the sight line. Half tip, pre pivot alignment. I step the cue ball using the uh, outermost left edge for the left side of the cue ball. I've stepped the cue ball. My bridge D is on the step center. 
Now it's just up to me to be able to stroke straight from there. CTE in no way guarantees perfection from its user. That's 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 up to the user to learn how to use it. And you have to learn how to stroke straight. All of that goes without saying, and I I, I give attention to uh, stroke in my book. So we're talking about the visual aspect of the game here. Uh, the stroke is a the stroke is another story. Disguise pivoting. Parallax vision here. Parallax vision here. Parallax vision here. It's absolutely uh, great if you learn to develop your use of parallax vision beyond just what occurs for ball address when you're using Pro One. So you can get you can get to the uh, ability to be able to use parallax viewing in full stance by way of basic CTE. Disguise pivoting is just a natural extension. So immediately for disguise pivoting, I just see the missile. It's already done. I've seen it a couple of times already. So here we go. Uh, no visual sweep here. A further calling, a, a further coiling of my head, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move straight into the missile based on the stepping for the outer left edge of the cue ball, the outermost left edge of the cue ball. Everything's intact here in the background. The sight line, the parallax line, it's all there. Half ball pivoting. There's my 45. My front end of my cue. Oops, not on the spot there. Front end of my cue is the left edge of the cue ball. I'm at parallax. I've stepped the cue ball, so I need to tweak my bridge feet to be on the step center. So when I pivot to center, that's exactly the center that I want to be at. So. Let's back up to our object ball positioning this way. Third of diamond, a third of the diamond out for our 45 inside alignment. And we're going to take a look at Pro One. So once I have my perfect perception, and I, yeah, I see it in a hurry, it's quick. I can notice that the sight line uh, uh, leads me to knowing that the object ball tracks to the thick side of this pocket, thus requiring an inside sweep or pivot. So. Rather than using this left motion, it's the it's going to be the right physical sweep. So there's my perception. I'm going to step the cue ball to the inside in relation to the sight line. So it's going to turn the sight line from right to left. That's what I sweep to. I'm not just sweeping to anything. I'm sweeping to a specific stepped center. I'm sweeping to a specific target, one single tick on the cue ball. There's no target on or near to the object ball. There's my 45 degree perception. As I uh, move into this sweep, my head is going to unangle for using my 
strongest line of sight. And then I just shoot down that uh, line. Now I did catch the rail and that brings up a point that I would like to make. If I were shooting this as a game winning ball, let's say it's a 9 ball or a 10 ball in a game of rotation, I wouldn't shoot that ball soft and easy, even from the CTE perspective, even though I have a slight overcut. A very soft shot like that can still pull the cue ball to the left side of the pocket. So that overcut alignment that I get doesn't mean that I'm home free for every type of speed for entering in that uh, pocket at dead center. Um, so, we're going to try that again and what I'm going to do as one option for safeguarding against a, a, a skid or dragging into the rail is I'm just going to pick up the speed slightly. So there's my 45. There's my sweep to the inside based on stepping the cue ball to the inside. So I'm just going to pick up the speed slightly to guard against dragging into that rail and possibly hanging it up, especially on a tighter pocketed table. How cool put out his three angle aiming document and he said that three aim lines make all shots. Now, Houle, at times, during some of his personal teaching sessions, would instruct a student to see right cue ball edge to that quartered line there on the object ball, and he'd say, just make the ball. He would say, that line makes the ball. The right cue ball edge to object ball A. And he wouldn't give any other instructions. So Hal knew that in order to get to the shot line from that position, a pivot or a sweep would have to occur to the inside. Hal knew that looking at the aim line, right cue ball edge to object ball A, would place one's vision in a unique position and he knew that the shot line was available from that visual even though his student uh, wouldn't understand all the little intricacies that are going on but he would simply instruct the student see right edge to object ball A and that makes the shot makes the shot he knew what was going on with uh, uh, the vision of a player that assumed that type of aim, right cue ball edge to object ball A. The only way that you can make that shot is to do a right visual sweep. So, Hal understood the impetus or the force for putting one's vision into motion for pocketing a ball. Hal knew what the subconscious mind would do, what one's visual intelligence would do, and how the body would follow. So, um, when Hal said that three aim lines make all shots, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more under the hood. But nonetheless, it's true. Three aim lines do make all shots. Basic CTE. Instead of an outside pivot, I need an inside pivot because this object ball would track thick to the pocket if I shot down the sideline. So, it's parallax vision here. I'm going to guide down by way of the sight line. It's parallax vision again. I'm at a one half tip pre pivot alignment in relation to the shot line. I peek at the outermost right edge of the cue ball. 
I see a new center. In fact, I can see two centers if I want. I can see the sideline center. I can see the step center. I can dual focus loop between those two centers. I'm ready to pivot to the target, which is center cue ball. That's my missile line right there. Now I just have to shoot down that line in order to get a nice entry into the pocket. Just kind of pivoting. So I'm into full parallax with this. His parallax here, his parallax here. It's a very prominent visual for me of seeing the cue ball geared to the inside in relation to seeing the object ball geared to the outside. Um, it all starts with right cue ball edge to object ball A, just about one sixteenth of an inch. If I were to look at right object ball edge to dead on this line without the adjustment, it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't look right. It would look more like I need to step it and come in from the outside. So, with time, you'll understand very quickly why that sixteenth inch of an adjustment is there. So we're doing disguise pivoting. There's my shot line revealed to me 100%. I'm going to go down on that uh, nissel uh, with my head gearing further to the right. And there is the uh, cue. There's my cue aligned at the step center. Uh, my parallax line is in position. I can still see the sight line if I choose to. And I just shoot straight down that line. One half ball pivoting. Uh, everything starts with right key ball edge to object ball A adjusted by one sixteenth of an inch. Everything falls into place once I get that aim line right. So once the aim line is right, then I have the correct parallax line, I have the sight line, I have a perfect uh, visual for a 45 degree perception. Uh, I'm going to step the cue ball to the inside. That's already starting. I'm going to go down with my cue angled in such a way that my tip is at the left edge of the cue ball. I'm already beginning to see the shot line. Okay, there it is. Everything is properly geared so that when I, so that when I pivot to center, I'm perfectly on the step center. Half ball pivoting. I'm having a lot of fun presenting to you real center to edge aiming. I, I hope that you're enjoying it. I will see you in video 13 where once again I'm going to kill two birds with one stone just as we did today. Uh, outside and an inside for the 45. I'm going to do the same with the 60. See you in video 13.